This morning, we are continuing to look ahead to New Mexico's upcoming gubernatorial election as we break down where the candidates fall on certain issues. Among the questions asked in our debate last night, education took center stage. Now, News 13's Sarah Yingling joins us live with how each candidate says they will address New Mexico's public education system. Good morning, David. Well, both Michelle Lujan Grisham and Steve Pierce agree that New Mexico isn't spending enough money on the education system, but how they want to fix it is where they differ. For Lujan Grisham, she says the funds will likely come from state's rainy day fund. You diversify the economy and you make sure that you use the resources that are readily available to you to make sure that you can fund a robust public education system. Representative Steve Pierce was concerned with where the money would come from. He pointed out that using the money from the rainy day fund is dangerous and could deplete the cash in a matter of years. Instead, his focus was on money from the oil and gas industry as a way to bring more money into the state. Right now, he says that businesses are being pushed across the state lines, taking money away from New Mexico. Each rig not running here is costing us a million dollars a year. And so by you saying that you're going to regulate fracking, you're going to push the development across the state line, and then we're going to decrease. Another major concern on how to fix New Mexico's education system comes as the state recently lost a lawsuit that ruled their $2.4 billion budget for public education was not adequate. Currently, the state of New Mexico ranks near the bottom in the nation when it comes to education. Coming up later in the show, I'll be breaking down he how each candidate is proposing to fix crime. Back to you.